Cameras can record in 8 bit, 10 bit, some cameras can even record in 12 bit. But what is this bit exactly? This video will be slightly on the technical side, but if you're a filmmaker, if you're serious into videography, this is super important. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The image that you're seeing on the screen right now is made up of three color channels, red, green, and blue. When you're shooting in 8-bit, you can have 2 raised to 8, that is 256 shades of red, green, and blue. So in total, you have about 16.7 million colors. Now 10-bit might not seem a huge difference compared to 8-bit, but let's calculate. 2 raised to 10 is 1024 shades of red, green, and blue. And that is whatever this number is. The point is, you have way more number of shades of colors in a 10-bit video compared to a 8-bit video. And this is known as color or bit depth. Now the question is, why would you require these many amount of colors? 16.7 million colors sound a lot. Isn't 8-bit enough? The answer is yes and no. Depends on the situation. Let me explain. Here are two videos side by side. The left one is shot in 8-bit and the right one in 10 bit. You won't be able to figure out the difference until now. What happened? I made some exposure and color corrections and obviously I exaggerated those corrections so that you'll be able to see the difference more clearly. The left image have these artifacts and you can see the gradation of the colors is not smooth, which results into what we call as banding. Whereas you don't see those artifacts in the right image because the gradation is smooth. Why is that? Because in a 10-bit video, you have way more number of shades of colors to display all that information. When you're color grading your footages, you will start seeing these differences when you apply a heavy color grade. Since you're pushing the limits of the video, it will eventually start falling off. Some of you might be wondering, what am I using for color grading? Well, that's where the amazing sponsors of today's video comes into the picture, Film Convert. They have two different plugins for color grading videos. Whether you're using After Effects, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, or DaVinci Resolve, these plugins will work with all of them. Right now, what I'm using is Film Convert Nitrate. This makes the color grading process so easy. I just drag and drop on top of my video, and I can select which camera was used to shoot this particular video. They have different camera profiles. This one was shot with the Sony A1, in S-Lock Gamma 3 mode. I just select it and boom, the plugin will do its magic, apply all the processing, apply all the corrections needed to make it look good. And this is just the beginning. I can apply different film stocks and even emulate their looks. This one looks good. Now, this is not the same as applying presets. Depending on which camera was used, which mode was used to shoot that particular video, the results will vary. I can adjust the intensity and also adjust the grain separately for shadows, midtones, highlights, whites, and blacks. And adding grains is actually a very good technique to deal with banding. You have curves, you have color wheels, you have levels, and you can use them to further color grade the footages. The next plugin is quite different and literally a game changer if you're using multiple cameras in a single project. So I'm working on the Iceland video, which I'm tremendously excited about, and it's going to come out next week. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, do everything, make sure you watch that video too. In Iceland, I used a Nikon camera, a Sony camera, a DJI drone, and the iPhone to shoot all my videos. Now, since all the videos are in the same project, I need to make them look uniform. Otherwise, it won't look good. I can do it manually, but it will be time consuming. Cinematch does it instantly. I just select my source camera, Sony A1, color profile, and my target camera, and boom, it's matched. I can make further adjustments if I need to, but this is a very good start. If you want to speed up your color grading workflow, Film Convert Nitrate and Cinematch are two excellent options to use with the software you're already using. Check them out, link in the description below. I was able to push this video a lot because this was shot in 12-bit log. It contains all the information and the footage won't fall off easily compared to an 8-bit video. If you're shooting anything that has a lot of sky, clouds, or skin tones, you will start seeing these differences when you're making exposure and color corrections. That is why you need to shoot at a higher bit or color depth. I shoot all my videos in 10-bit now. 
But that doesn't mean 8-bit videos are useless. I was shooting everything in 8-bit till the last year and I did not face much issues because I don't go a lot heavy on the color grade. But I still shoot in 10-bit if I have the option available. My Z9 can shoot in 12-bit too. I don't use that option because a lot of the times I feel 10-bit is more than enough. Only when where I feel I need that extra information, I choose 12-bit. One thing to keep in mind is when you're shooting at a higher bit or color depth, the file size will also increase. A 10-bit video will have a larger file size compared to a 8-bit video. This is one of the downside. The other downside is you need more computing power in order to edit these kind of videos. For editing a 10-bit or a 12-bit video, you need a very strong machine. I'm using my M1 Max MacBook Pro, which is specced out and it handles it pretty well. But if you don't have a strong machine, it can be a pain in the sentence finished. If you have a 10-bit monitor, you will be able to take complete advantage of the higher color depth. But let's say you have a 8-bit monitor, you will still notice the difference. Long story short, you can absolutely get away with 8-bit videos. Yes, you have less amount of shades, but most of the times it won't be even noticeable. It won't make you any less of a cinematographer. If you're working on any commercial video or any high-end video, or you're using a blue screen or green screen, and you need all that color information to clearly mask it out, I would recommend to shoot at a higher color depth. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something useful and found the video helpful. And if you did, press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check the Iceland video that's coming out next week. Once again, thank you Film Convert for sponsoring this video. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.